Which of the following lines are parallel? Are any of them identical? Line one is given in vector form. Line two is given in parametric form. Line three is given in symmetric form. And line four, uh, we don't have any form for that. We're just told that it passes through two points. So to determine if two lines are parallel, we need to see if their direction vectors are parallel. So if their directions are parallel, the direction vectors. Well, in the first line one, we can see the direction vector immediately. So the direction vector is negative 2, 7, negative 2. So any vector that is a non-zero multiple of this will be considered parallel and would make a parallel line. So let's find the direction vectors for the other three lines. For line 2, if we put this one, this is in the parametric form, we can put this in the vector form by writing x, y, z is equal to x is equal to 5. So we need a point here in vector form and then plus t times our direction vector. That's what we're trying to create. So x will be 5 minus 4t, so t times minus 4. And we'll, we'll go component by component. So y is equal to negative 8 plus 14t. We'll put the negative 8 here with the point and the 14 to be multiplied by the t. And then z equals 6 minus 4t. The 6 is the z coordinate of a point on the plane. And the negative 4 here multiplying the t for the direction. So if we were to re, uh, um, if we were to uh, put this back together, and reassemble, distribute, and add, it would turn it, and then and then uh, and then consider each component separately. It would turn into these three equations. So this is our vector form. So we have. The direction vector for line 2 is negative 4, 14, negative 4, which we can see is twice the direction vector for line 1. And so these are parallel vectors and hence parallel lines. And then maybe they're identical. We'll determine that at the end. Now let's look at line three, that's in the symmetric form. So let's turn it into um, a vector form. And also notice the direction vector in the parametric form comes immediately from the coefficients of t. So negative 4t, 14t, negative 4t gives us the direction vector, negative 4, 14, negative 4. So let's keep that in mind as we deal with line three here. Line three, if we set each of these equations in the symmetric form equal to the parameter t, then the first equation, sorry, over two equals t. If we solve that for x, then x will be 2t plus four. Let me write that as 4 plus 2t to be in the same format as this one here. 4 plus 2t, and now let's do this for y. 3 minus y over 7 is t. 3 minus y over 7 is t. So if we solve this for t, y, uh, for y rather, y is equal to uh, 3 minus 7t and then z z minus 8 over 2 is equal to t 
solve for z. z is equal to 2t plus 8, 8 plus 2t. And so the direction vector will come from looking at the coefficients of t, x, y, z. So the direction vector for line 3, the direction vector is 2, negative 7, 2, which is negative 1 times the direction vector for line 1. So those are parallel. So, so far, all three of these are parallel to each other. What about line 4? The direction vector for line 4 is simply the vector from P to Q. We take the coordinates of Q and subtract from them the coordinates of P. So this is 5 minus 1, negative 8 minus 6, 6 minus 2. And the arithmetic is 4, negative 14, 4, which is negative 1 times this one. And so the, all four direction vectors are parallel. If we want to write it in terms of this one, it's negative 1 half times 2, 7, sorry, negative 2, 7, negative 2. Okay, so all four of the lines are parallel. They all have parallel direction vectors. The direction vectors are all multiples of this first one, negative 2, 7, negative 2. <clears throat> okay, are any of them identical? So let's see if any of them are identical to the first line. Well, all we have to do to determine if two parallel lines are identical is to see if they go through any one point on either of them. So take a point on the first line, the point Line 1 goes through the point 3, let's write it in point form, 3, negative 1, 4. So this point is on line 1. Let's see if it's on line 2, line 3, or line 4. Uh, we have equations for lines 2 and 3. <clears throat> we don't actually have an equation for line 4, so we will have to build one. Let's do that first. Line 4 is, let's put it in vector form. It goes from the point 1, 6, 2, and it has the same direction vector we can use any multiple of a direction vector, so we'll just use the same exact one, negative 2, 7, negative 2, rather than using the 4, negative 14, 4, either way. And that should be times t. We need a t there. That's our parameter. Okay, so we have, there's line 4. Line 3. Let's put this one also, let's put them all in the same form. How about that? Line three, do we know a point on line three? Uh, four, three, eight. Four, three, eight, plus t times the same direction vector. Now the t, in the line four is not going to be the same as the t in line three. It might be helpful to use different letters for the parameters for each line, but we'll just keep using t here since we have that already. Uh, line two we have in vector form. Let's put that in a box. And line one was given in vector form. So now we have them all in vector form. 
and line one. So let's see which ones, which other ones, if any, go through this point. Three, one, negative four. That corresponds to t equals zero for the parameter in line one, but it might correspond to different parameters, different t values for lines two, three, and four. So in line two, if we wanted to go through the point 3, negative 1, 4, then the x-coordinate would have to be 3, so let's work with the x-coordinate for line 2. 5 minus 4t would be 3 if it was to go through a point with x-coordinate 3. We solve this for t to see at what time or parameter value the x-coordinate on line 2 is equal to 3, and we get 4t is equal to 2, and so t is equal to 1 half. So then we will just plug that time in to see if the y-coordinates and the z-coordinates match. So if we plug in time 1 half to the y-coordinate, we get negative 8 plus 1 half times 14. which is negative 1, which does match. So I'm suspecting that the z-coordinate will also work here. Let's check. The z-coordinate is 6 plus or 6 minus um, 4t. So 6 minus 4t, and t is a half, and that's 6 minus 2, which is 4 and that matches as well. So line two does go through the point three, negative one, four, um, when t is one half. So these first two lines are identical. L1 and L2 are identical. Let's check line three. Um, so line three, we have the form is here, and we're checking the point three, negative one, four. So we're gonna have to move this over a little bit here. So does line three go through this point? Well, the um, x coordinate needs to be three, so four minus two t has to be three. And that tells us that t, 2t is 1, so t is a half again. And if we plug a half in and check the y-coordinate, the y-coordinate is 3 plus 1 half times 7, which is 7 halves. And that is not equal to negative 1. That's 13 halves. So line 3 is not identical to line 1 and therefore also not identical to line two, since they were identical. So line three is different from lines one and two. Uh, so let's check if line four is the same as lines, ones and, uh, lines one and two, and then if it isn't, let's check to see if it's the same as line three. So now for line four, the x-coordinate um, is 1 minus 2t, and we want that to equal 3. We want to see if it goes through the point 3, negative 1, 4. So solving for t, 2t is equal to negative 2, t is negative 1. So what's the y-coordinate? y is 6 plus 7t. This is looking good. That's going to be 6 plus 7 times negative 1. That's negative 1. That's a match. And let's check the z. z when t is equal to 1, negative 1. z is 2 plus, well, 2 minus 2t. Two, 2 minus 2t. Two and we're plugging in negative 1. So that's going to be 2 plus 2, which is 4, a match. So L1, L2, and L4 
are identical. L3 is parallel. There's a symbol for parallel, but different. Sorry, but different. So we have three copies of the same line and then another parallel line. 